Today we're going to be taking a look at the new SAS starter template uh, for Builder. So this is a fully functional um, template that you can use as a uh, SAS starter. So if you have a SAS project that you want to build, this will give you all the components that you need to get started quickly in Builder with just a few clicks. And I'll take you through all of that. Um, first, I want to show you what the template uh, includes. So uh, first things first, it's got a front end website, which we're looking at here. So you've got a home page that's got uh, kind of a hero section. You've got um, you know, description, you've got features with these call to action buttons, um, and you've got a header and footer. The call to action buttons are connected. So if I click get started today, it'll take me to a sign up or registration page. Um, and if I click sign in instead, it'll take me to a login page. So let's just do a quick login here. And once you log in, it'll take you to the dashboard of the actual app. Um, so this is what your logged in users will see. Um, on the dashboard, I've got a few um, widgets at the top for active customers, active tasks, and active team members. Um, with a couple of tables below for recent customers and recent tasks. If I look at the left-hand side, I've got a menu. Um, so if I navigate to the second item on the menu, I can look at customers view. It's got a list of customers, the tasks view, and lastly, the team members. Each of these uh, table views has a ability to add. So if I click the add icon, it'll open up a modal. And this is where I can select, or I can input my details with a profile picture, a name and an email, and I can create a team member and it'll be added to the list like this one here. Same goes for tasks and customers. Um, and there's also an account view. So if I click on account, I can see my account details. I can change my name and I can pick a new icon for my profile. And in the upper left, there's my company name. If I click on that, I can see a window for the company detail where I can change the um, company icon and the name of the company. And there's a sign out as well, uh, which will take me back to the login page. So that's a quick overview of what the template includes. Um, in the next couple of videos, I will be taking you through how you actually import this template into Builder how it's set up and structured um, so you can understand all the components of the template. And then I'll uh, show you how you can customize the template to make it your own.